In this series of videos, we are trying to understand how to graph rate of change of functions. Here is the one on sinusoidal function. The question is, describe and sketch the rate of change for sinusoidal function. So a sine wave is drawn for you. It is translated two units up. Now we need to find rate of change for this sinusoidal function. Well, we can start from the points which are the peaks right the extremes as you can see here if I draw a tangent line my slope is going to be zero right at both these points so corresponding to these points I'll get a rate of change which will be zero so for that let me draw or plot the points so these are the points which corresponds to the graph of rate of change for sinusoidal function correct so we'll get zeros at these extremes so here also we'll get a zero here right and at this turning point we'll get a zero so at each turning point on a smooth graph the tangent will be horizontal with slope of zero right so these are the points which will be on the rate of change of this sinusoidal function now let's consider the point right there in the center so if I draw a tangent here then it is going to be like this the slope of this line is plus one correct so that gives me another point on rate of change and at when x is equals to zero slope is one right now how about this point here it is going to be minus one right so if you draw a tangent here you get slope of this tangent line as minus one and that means this point will correspond to right here right so minus one so that is my point similarly if we continue this process of finding slope of the tangents we get this okay not that accurate but still <coughs> this is coming downwards negative one right so we do see those points coming up right in between we know it is increasing from 0 to 1 right and then it decreases from 1 to 0 do you see that so that means if I have to draw this from here so from 0 it is increasing right and then it decreases to 0 so this half is kind of like this do you see that now once I am at this point slope is 0 then it is negative thereafter becoming negative 1 and then it goes to 0 so it is like this do you see that so that is how I can get rate of change of sinusoidal function correct so you will notice that for a sine wave which is this right this is sine x well it should be because we translated let me write this as plus 2 the rate of change will be cosine function do you see that so it is like cos x function do you see that so so rate of change for a sinusoidal function is a cosine function so that's what you get i hope that's absolutely clear thank you and all the best